Hello and welcome to another episode of Atom RPG. I'm gonna be testing uh, assault rifles now. So, again, respect from my sniper spec. Uh, thanks to the console. I think we got all of the assault weapons. <laughs> FN minimum is extremely rare. And this I modified I actually found in an encounter at level 16 or 17. So, anyways. AK-47. This is the one I actually got by defeating the bandits. You get by defeating the bandits right at the beginning. My spec is uh, 6 strength. Um, you start with... Endurance at 6, uh, Dexterity 10, Intellect 8, Attention 8, could be 7, Intellect could be 9, it's up to you. And Luck obviously as high as you can get it. Actually, thank you very much Fidel. Okay, so. Yep, regular ammo. Uh, the starting AK, I think, is one of the best assault rifles. The only thing is you cannot make aimed shots to the head. Uh, because the 6 AP, well you can, but... You know, it's two regular shots or... Or a burst fire. Alright, so... The distances you see... Quite decent. I placed hexagon behind, just wanted to see if uh, bursts reach and how, how far bursts go, so... Okay. He's armed with the same weapon. He's got uh, top armor. Let's actually put his steel, steel armor on. Because this is what um, even high high level enemies will be wearing. Or lower, only very end game, like uh, fixed encounters, will be wearing this uh, heavy, heavy, heavy armor. All right. I guess it's in the way. Yeah. So, single fire. You know. It's not magical, it's just the damage it does, and yeah, he ripped Hex to shreds. Okay, I've got zero chance to get hit. Yeah, still zero. Aim shots, as expected. Right. I've got obviously all the burst reduction perks I can get so yeah we landed four out of five at this distance what are we getting uh, 99 percent yeah I'll get uh We'll get a bit closer. Let's see if it penetrates further or someone has to stand right next to. Obviously I know that adjacent works, but in a straight line, let's see. Doesn't seem to. Yeah, unlucky optimist obviously increases critical damage, wouldn't be that high, but uh, still high, 80 damage or so. But obviously we pump the luck on automatic firearms, you want to pump the luck as high as possible to get more crits. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, it fires five shots, so it is extremely good. And for all these videos, I've been on the receiving end. <laughs> oh, actually, mm, yeah. Let's let's try a regular ammo and Fidel in the heaviest armor possible. Also, Fidel has a same perk, so the longer it takes us to kill him, the higher the resistances he has. Anyways, let's try it. Why does he run towards me? I have no idea. Yeah, his resistances are getting really high. So many hits coming in. Hexagon as well. Oh, look how much damage gets reduced. Okay. So, yeah. It's five shots. Decent damage. Let's try it. Armor piercing, and actually, I'm gonna get hexagon out. Now, AP ammo. Yep. Yep. Increased aim shot crit chance, and we got a crit. That's why uh, any. Assault Rifles, I uh, have a 5 AP aimed shots are good, because you can make two shots, and it could potentially be two lethalities, I see at the moment we've got nothing. The armor piercing is okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, and now let's try bursting. So as I said, this is the weapon you get. Actually, let's try max distance, where it's 99%. Okay, so let's see how many we can hit. All of them. Yeah, this is the weapon you get at the very start of the game, if you beat the first fight. And... Practically can carry you through the whole game if you wanted to Yep Right now AKMS The more expensive version deals slightly more damage per shot uh, costs are the same but rounds per burst only three range might be slightly longer yep not slightly longer actually okay yeah it's uh from here yeah, it's about three tiles bigger Okay, let's try to make some aim shots. This is on the Alton with regular ammo. Again, on the single aim shot. I can try doing the same.
Okay. Let's try the burst fire. Let's see how far away. Almost the yeah, same distance as. Let's see. Yeah, same distance as AK 47 for burst fire. So we get no benefit from that. Uh, still regular ammunition on a heavily armored target. Can actually. Yeah, get it like that. Let's try now. Yeah, I might not survive the next one. Yeah, and I do not. So, because we don't have a shield, we do take a ton of damage. And uh, as you can see, I am dealing some damage. I can't compete against five shots versus three shots. So, AKMS, um, I would say give it to companions until enemies start get. It's actually quite good on companions, especially I like to give it to Fidel. Because um, uh, for quite a while, um, enemies have just around 60 HP. So, a burst from this can take one out and uh, you can make two single shots. Obviously now I've given him AK-47 because enemies might have over 100 HP, 120 HP and 5 shots are usually uh, a kill for him so AKMS wouldn't be able to pardon me alright next up It is Aki AKS 74U. It's quite a fun little gun. Low AP cost. Um, can make two bursts, four rounds each. But we will test it now. Um, yeah, so single shots, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, let's see about aim shooting. What's the distance? As you can see, decent. Still very decent. Right. Crits are not amazing. There's a low damage range. But, yeah. And do the job, especially as you can make two of them. And still got two AP left. Okay, let's see. Burst fire. So, look at that. Okay. So this is 99% burst fire range. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's this exactly the same range as AK forty seven burst fire range, ninety nine percent. So we can make two bursts if you got ten AP does each cost five. Let's try it. Four shots, four shots hit. So if enemies have lower HP, like 64 or something, you're likely to shred them. Especially with steel armor, as you can see, especially if you land a crit. Yeah, it's quite decent. And you can get it very early on. Obviously, like most of the weapons, especially if you can pickpocket from the trader, uh, weapons dealer in... Um, 
Kerzi. Yeah. Bear in mind, enemies are not gonna have this damage reduction. The more hits, uh, you know, we land, it's uh, just our companion, Praetorian. So that's for regular ammunition. Let's try armor piercing on steel armor first. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, unlucky optimist, I imagine, plus uh, high luck. Yeah, as you can see, damage does drop after the first burst. Second is much lower. That's obviously again stacking Praetorian. Yeah, AP ammo, really good damage, looks like almost like uh, AK damage as well, so let's try one more time. Yeah, very good, very good weapon, I really like it. Uh, uses cheap ammo, so it's always plentiful. Now, this is probably the first uh, 545 you're gonna find it's obviously a bit silly that m16 fires 545 but yeah this is what the traders will have um like the big caravan traders right at the beginning of the game uh, this is very good assault rifle because you can make five ap aim shots at good distance it is higher than ak yeah there you go Almost uh, slightly shorter, I think, than AKMS. But we can make two aimed shots and. Oh! I actually forgot. Let me. Uh, AP ammo. Let's put Fidel in heavy gear. Max distance for bursting. Yeah, around here. Alright, let's try. This is the heaviest target with Praetorium. Yep, good. Okay, nice. So it needs two rounds, basically, with no crits to down someone. Okay. Yeah. M16. This, um, yep. We got the ammo. Let's put the other boy in there as well. Okay. So. Against most enemies you're gonna fight, this is what they will wear. So AK seems like a uh, one tile. Further. Very nice sound actually, I wish HK33 had the same sound. I mean, he has a lot of resistance now. Ok. 
Okay. Yeah. So that's sniping. And let's see. Burst though is 6 AP. Alright. That's the distance. Only three rounds per burst. Mm, yeah. Gonna be on the losing end, seems like, of that exchange. Two rounds, lower damage. Alright. It's a uh, bursting amazing. against low level enemies, it will be fine. We'll take them out for sure. The high level enemies, uh, lots of HP, not so much. I almost. As I said, um, not gonna be dealing enough damage. Probably to take him out in one turn. He'll heal up. Fire five shots at me, and I imagine I am gonna be dead. Yeah, much higher damage. Yeah, so it's going nowhere. All right, so yeah, this is a sort of stopgap weapon. Obviously, you can try AP, but a little bit, but I see no point. We fire three shots. He fires five of AK at same distance. Lands all shots anyway. So. He uses 2 AP to heal. Notice me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we crit, we win. So, yeah. Uh, three round bursts. Um, same as HK43. Which we're gonna do now. So... This weapon here has 8 to 18 damage compared to 7 to 16. Uh, higher range, same burst, 3 rounds, and 5 AP aimed shots. But you'll see, range is like 1 or 2 tiles higher. So, yeah. Two tiles. Okay. Let's try versus an armor target. So, this is, yeah, it's unfortunate. The sound is sound is not very nice, but yeah, this will be your if you got ten AP and. Uh, you know, you want to land those headshots, especially if you got, um, along with, you know, you, you start combat and you want to land them to save ammunition as well. Um, this is the weapon you'll use. It's kind of sort of most common ammo, decent damage, good accuracy, etc. etc. As you can see. 
it is quite okay in that. Alright. Let's try bursting. Yeah, same range to get 99%. Yeah. Like all weapons. So we'll be exchanging. He's got 99 and I've got 99. <laughs> Right, the regular armor enemy. Um, burst fire on steel. Should see same results. AK slaps much harder. Yeah, I can't take him down. So, yeah. I'm not gonna repeat uh, AP. No, we can try quickly. But, should expect the same results. Um, especially if. if uh, Put heavier armor on Fidel. This is not a weapon you will use. You would use in end battles. Unless you really enjoy so. Masochistic experiences. It's uh, strictly, these are strictly economy weapons. Um, as you saw, AKMS is the same thing. Basically, if three round bursts, you're unlikely to go anywhere. What we can try is uh, boosting our uh, AP. Sort of, uh, anyways, let's not do it for now. Okay, next up, regular Ventores that you can find, and uh, Val. I leave the heavy armor. These uh, weapons have the rare ammunition type, cannot craft it. Ammo is limited, so you'll be using it for sort of end game, anyways. Ammo itself, uh, 51% AP on regular and 64 on armor piercing. Aim shots got the same as regular shots and as burst fire on Torres. Extremely accurate. Yeah, bonus for hitting from distance, crit chance plus 4. It's basically like a rifle. Just uh, low AP cost, very nice, very nice for companions as well, uh, because they can burst twice, so, yeah. That's for sniping, but yeah, most of these battles you will not be sniping, you will be bursting. And burst range, as you can see, is very high. 
Damn. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Look at that. I think that's the longest burst range so far. Okay. Let's see how it goes. We had 12 AP, we burst three times. Yeah. Let's actually do it. Um, let's get ourselves. 12 action points, like you would. And... Yep. see the damage um, reduction from the perk for damage well wow. right and now let's try armor piercing this only fires three rounds per burst so Reliable. Long range, burst fire, reliable, always hits. Um, all the shots you can see are hitting all the time. But yeah, this is an uh, end game, really end game weapon. I wish you could really craft it without mods, uh, this ammunition, but not much you can do. Next up, um, VSSM. This can be looted uh, from behind the counter of, yeah, they're like uh, lockers behind the weapons trader in uh, Krasnozmirsky. And uh, you need high lockpick, high stealth. I think 160 stealth was enough for me to start looting everything behind him. But yeah, you'll need around 100, 120 lockpick plus obviously lockpick tools to start picking it it's very, it's very high now to com compare this one regular inventory is 816 damage this one 817 damage everything else seems to be the same crit chance yeah the same uh let's see distance actually let's flip the other inventory Yeah, uh, two probably tiles. Okay. All right. So this uh, camo in Taurus, three tiles larger uh, aim shot distance. All right. There you go, that's regular ammunition. And now let's try burst firing. Does it have a longer burst fire range? Alright. Whoa. 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 Look at that. So, yeah. Again, let's move three tiles. Two. Okay, so from here we can. That's the regular Ventores and the camo Ventores. Yeah, two tiles or three tiles further. Alright, try it, regular ammunition. Seems like it's pretty killy. Yeah. 
And this is regular ammo on the highest armor target in the game. The Praetorian perk reducing damage. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. That's Camo Ventores. Okay. Now, AS Val. So it has shorter aim shot distance um, than seems like the same distance as regular Ventores as for burst fire. Let's check. Yep. Yes. No. But ASL. 9 to 15 damage, 8 to 16. Same, basically. 5 AP burst, but fires 5 rounds. Which is at the uh, distances you'll fight the final battles. Yeah, it should cover you, but you can only burst twice, which will be 10 shots, versus three times, which will be nine shots with ASL. Okay, let's try some aim shots. I got lucky. Anyways, I, it's the same. Sorry. It's the same as. Um, Torres, so let's go to bursting. All right, you can see you have to be much closer, like all other assault rifles, for it. And let's see how many hits we can land. Definitely good. But we got a crit. If we don't crit. again and as I mentioned you'd be building this um, assault rifle you know I would recommend at least assault rifles with high crit chance so crits would be slightly lower but more crits as I've got uh, minus five crit chance but eight luck minus five crit chance uh, so I would have Actually, minus one luck and minus five crit chance. So we'd have nine luck and over ten. Yeah, ten percent. Ten percent crit chance. That's what it is. As you see, it does the job quite reliably. Uh, once more. Yeah, that's Praetorian again, reducing the damage, but... Yep. And let's try AP ammo. We'll see if it can... Shred the enemy in a single burst. Nope. But should, should do it in two, two bursts reliably. You can see by the damage. Okay, so that's AS Val. Now let's go to the big boys. Okay, this is the cheapo cheap. Cheapo cheap weapon. Uh, random encounters drop it. I'm talking about. RPD. So short burst, 6 AP, long burst, 7. Okay, let's see the distance the short burst can do. I'm sure it's all lies, 99% good chance. Yeah. 
Alright, let's try max distance. Short burst. Regular ammo on a high armor target. I guess that's where you would pick up <laughs> the actual machine gun for. Three hits, lucky crit. 99% chance. My ass. So we're wasting ammo. One hit. Two hits. That is really low. Jesus. It's it's bad. Obviously, the further the battle goes on, the more his Praetorian will reduce it. So, uh, let's try the... Uh, le let's try, like, regular bursting distance. Some short bursts. Because it's supposed to fire 613 damage, which is really low. I mean, really low. RPK is 8 to 12. And fire 7, 15 shots. Short burst 7, long 15. So, we can make two short bursts, which should be 14 rounds. Mm -hmm. well, damage. damage is actually lower than Scorpion. Simply put out more bullets. I'm using AP boost. Yeah. Crits, you see? You see what crits do? It's like... 3, 4 bursts combined. A single crit. <laughs> it's this much damage. Yeah, it's it's not regular hits that's gonna kill. And these things, it's the crit. Alright, um, let's try the long burst. He does Yeah, and I'm dead probably. Yeah, it's it's jank. This weapon is jank, don't use it. Uh, yeah. That ammo can be used in AK-47 much better. Disgusting weapon. Okay, now this is the sort of uh, gun with which you can complete, you know, the final battle pretty low level as soon as you get praetorian you can do it so on normal you can do it much earlier um or I've, I've done it on, um, on expert level 15 i think so, you, so and how do you get the final battle at this level simply um, start killing cultists in the mushroom temple you know it's in their house and the guard will go through the locked doors and will open for them for you and that's it. You can get inside, you can do all the fights, and you can finish the game right there and then. So this is the weapon I used to finish it up. Because a long burst, 812 damage, um, will fire 15 rounds. And can burst twice with AP boosting. Alright, let's see the starters. Let's. Yeah, I wasn't doing uh, AP ammo on RPD. I hate that weapon. It's, yeah, it's awful. Oh, look at would you look at that can we actually how many uh, sure let's see how many shots we can land <laughs> of RPK quite a few We are landing lots of hits. No crits though. There we go. Now, let's try actually a bit closer. 
He's a short burst. On top. Top arm. Alright, let's try some longer bursts. They have reduced uh, hit chance. Okay, so this is... Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, a single long burst is more than two short bursts in amount of bullets. It's 15, I believe. So... Okay, should have done too long. And now, armor piercing ammunition. These are very good weapons. Alright, uh, long burst. Uh, yeah, I've got a single crit, that's it. And with uh, AP boost. Without AP boost, you can make two short, which is regular 10 AP, which is amazing. With AP boost, you can make two long, which is amazing. So with AP ammo, and you will loot lots of AP ammo, you know. Um, you can eliminate two targets. Like, uh, two bullets. As you can see. I don't think we crit once, but so many bullets, so much damage. Yeah. It's, uh, it's top tier. I think this is like a tier, tier of tier. Yeah. Very good as well for random encounters. Uh, just carry it as a sidearm. You know, you have your main rifle, whatever. Carry this as a sidearm and got his short burst, so let's try shot. And most enemies you'll be able to take out single enemy with uh, one short burst. Okay, so yeah, RPK 74, top tier weapon. Number one, you can almost say. Now we've got F and Minimi left. Which is extremely rare, I've never found it. This one was added to the console. And PKM. Which, uh, this modified one, I actually looted off an enemy. It was a slaver ambush. First off, uh, Minimi. It's supposed to compete, um, supposedly, with RPK. RPK short burst 5 AP, this one 6 AP, long burst 7 AP. 815 shots, 615 shots. Oh, actually short one, this is just 6 shots. So there you go. So only with AP boost can you fire this twice, two short bursts. Otherwise just one long and that's pretty much it. Let's see the distance. Yeah, yeah, same as RPK. Let's try a short burst. See how many hits we have. It's a regular ammo. Sounds amazing. Very loud, in fact. <laughs> and let's get a bit closer. Yeah, alright, let's do long. We're definitely not hitting all the shots. Yeah, and crits. 
where what killed him as usual all right so minimi in my honest opinion no uh, let's try a bit closer but no it cannot compete with rpk simply due to ap costs and uh, just slightly little higher damage <laughs> means nothing except we cannot fire again just yeah And a crit. Almost did I com almost did the whole of the combined damage, all of the shots. Okay. Um, let's try AP ammo. This was with uh, regular ammunition. No, let's try short burst. Let's see if it can one tap. I have a two tap either. And six to fire, what is it, eight shots compared to six AP to fire 15 shots on RPK. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot compete, definitely. So, don't even look for this weapon. <laughs> can give it companions, com even seven AP companions, you see, can fire a full burst. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Okay, now this is the big boy. I don't have AP ammo. I didn't cheat in AP ammo. I just is using regular ammo. And yeah, this is gonna be all kill all sort of Bakayam machine gun. 10 to 20 damage. So in actuality, 20 to 40 damage uh, due to doubling. Uh, of damage by all ammunition types. Eight short, fifteen long. Seven and eight AP price corresponding. Let's try short burst at maximum range. Land the crit is definitely a kill. And sounds amazing. Yeah, but we can only shoot once. AP boost or no AP boost, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it, it wrecks. I'm using a modified variant, which I found, as I said, what it has uh, is a reduced strength cost. And maybe, uh, maybe a reduced uh, skill requirement. Let's, let's quickly check. Just, just reduce strength cost. Um, so yeah, so you can run around. You can create a six strength character, wear uh, helmets, or get uh, trained, and you can use this. BKM. You will not need eight to like level. All right, so we tried short bursts. Let's try the big big one much closer range as you can see much much closer range as you can see okay should one tap yeah especially if you get a crit you see this is this is kind of a theme <laughs> you need crits really to end enemies um, you save ammunition you know they do like double triple damage of regular shots um, will overpower damage thresholds so crits are amazing all around okay yeah long bursts are deadly to anyone but thing is they cost eight action points so um, yeah let's try one more short actually So the boosted AP, a short 7 AP, and we should be able to make a short burst with uh, RPK as well. If it was needed, it's not needed. Yeah, the damage is 
very nice. Again, sure. yeah, it's, it's, it's this just this crit alone would have killed him. Okay, one thing I want to try is I'll get um, Hex to stand near him. Just there, let's see if it penetrates. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's very hard to put them when not in combat in the exact position you want. Okay, just stay there. Let's see if we can hit hit something on, on the side as well. Have a burst. I was just like, as I said, right, right behind. I know we can, but something slightly to the side, something like a tile away or not. Let's see. I imagine, obviously, my skill, as he's friendly as well, will mean I'm landing most of my shots. Yeah. Okay. As you can see. Solid. Also, end game weapon. Can only fire once uh, per round, but if you are boosted, you can also fire off a short burst from RPK. Uh, or a named shot. Okay. That's it. That's uh. All the automatic weapons reviewed. I hope you found this useful. And uh, I'll see you next time.